Okay. So you getting it? I'm getting it. I don't get it. <laughs> Welcome to another wild week in the world of reality stars and disasters. Hi, Andy. Shante, you stay. Can they join the other girls? Andy Cohen is not going anywhere. Remember that a couple of weeks ago, a rumor was swelling that the Real Housewives mastermind is negotiating a severance package as he was said to be getting ousted from the network. Yeah, no, there was talk about how the mounting hill of lawsuits and accusations have finally brought about his downfall. And even in the freshest moments of that report, the NBC Universal baby did come out to say, yeah, no, bullocks. Shut that down. Well, Bravo has now confirmed that they basically believe it's all unfounded. Cohen has been cleared in an investigation into the misconduct claims from former Real Housewives stars as his late night talk show, What Happens Live, is renewed for yet another season. A Bravo spokesperson tells Page Six, and I quote, The outside investigation into the recent allegations made by Brandy Glenville and Liam McSweeney against Andy Cohen has now been completed and the claims were found to be unsubstantiated. So all that stuff being said by some of the housewives, such as Nini Leakes when she went for both Bravo and Andy, in a lawsuit about the mistreatment of black talent and Bravo being complicit in all of it. And um, I just felt like I wasn't getting fair treatment and I feel like I should have been treated differently and I should have been, I should have been giving better fair treatment. That's it. That's 30 all. years old will have a home That's in their all. own name. Best believe. Thank you. Yeah. And then there was a big Vanity Fair piece by Bethany Frankel. Both Nini and Bethany, who are regarded as some of the biggest names to have emerged in the Bravo Golden Age, have called for the network, its productions, and its practices to be transformed. There were more damning allegations that came from former housewife Leah McSweeney, who claimed that Cohen and Bravo preyed on her alcohol issues in an attempt to generate favorable ratings and even facilitated a work environment that turned a blind eye to sexually predatory behavior. Ghastly, but also unsubstantiated according to the findings, which means all things will proceed as usual because this, we are now hearing, has been thrown right out the window. The Kardashians are getting ready to splash the earth with the arrival of the Kardashians season 5. Season 5 already? I feel like it wasn't that long ago that the, the teaser dropped on Wednesday and the girls are draped in sequin gowns and gold dust. The promo takes us to Kim in her actress era now that she's making waves on American horror stories. Where, if we are going to be honest, she's killing the acting thing. And it's a pretty nice direction for the Kardashians because in many ways, it legitimizes the Kardashian legacy for being about more than just a vapid, self-aggrandizing distraction. And if you wonder if they will show clips of Kim being booed at Tom Brady's roast, that probably won't be happening. Well, thank you. I know a lot of people make fun of your height. Kevin. Stop with this whole personality. Because Netflix made the weird decision to edit that out from the roast. It's a whole roast though, and the streaming platform has had to deal with a lot of backlash and negative publicity over the decision, but yeah. The company's vice president of stand-up and comedy formats, Robbie Pro, explained Netflix's decision. He told the Hollywood Reporter, post edits are standard practice for comedy specials and happen in live broadcasts whether that's subtitles or removing things that we can't do when it's streaming live, which I guess was important for him to add, especially now that she's been proactive about squashing this whole story. A source tells Us Weekly that Kim was, and I quote, unfazed by the booing. She had a blast at the roast, it says here, and she wouldn't change anything. Except, of course, they did edit out the booze, Kimberly. <laughs> The Kardashian season 5 trailer also explores scares during Courtney's pregnancy and another medical panic involving the matriarch Kris Jenner. The rest of it is everything you've already seen on the show and the show before that and their Instagram stories. The Kardashian season 5 will premiere on May 23rd on Hulu in the US and Disney Plus internationally. Are we streaming? Comment down below, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I now want to move on to Portia and Simon Gabaria's highly publicized divorce. 
because it's gotten so nasty that I think the best way for them to proceed now is probably to go the amicable route. Porsche is reportedly demanding a fat sum of $50,000 from Simon to settle her attorney fees, which is some kind of a retaliation because Simon threatened to take the same course of action should he win the case. But now that Porsche is making the first aggressive move in terms of the paying of legal fees, he's saying she doesn't deserve a dime. In fact, this latest escalation comes just days after Simon petitioned the court to throw out the prenup agreement because he is saying the initial agreement was inked and signed under shady circumstances. He is also arguing that Portia is in breach of the very same agreement because, as he alleges, she went on and leaked information to the press and that information caused him substantial reputational damage. He's not stopping there because he also wants access to everything relating to Portia and her return to RHOA. And not only does he want to get a bar from using their marital $7 million mansion, he's also petitioned the court to grant him access to contracts, amendments, memos of understanding, financial documents, he also wants access to all communication, photographs, videos, recordings, tapings, footage, all filming. Cool. And part of that is that he's arguing that Porsche will be making a lot of money from RHOA and that their prenup was drafted through the understanding that she's going to be a stay-at-home mom now. Now, that whole thing is such a mess and Porsche is fighting back because at the end of the day, there's a prenup that is legally binding and enforceable. See? Yo. Oh. This is such a sad collapse of their marriage and it's going to be interesting to see how much of that will play out on RHOA season 16, especially now that filming is being rumored to start at the end of May, meaning the new season would most likely arrive early 2025, especially since RHOP has already started taping their new season. Dorit and PK have announced their separation after 9 years of marriage. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills pair shared the sad news on Instagram on Thursday, saying, We as a couple have been subject to a lot of speculation about our marriage. We have had our struggles over the last few years and continue to work through them as two people who love each other and share two amazing children together. And to safeguard our deep friendship and maintain a harmonious environment for our children, we have made the mutual and difficult decision to take time apart and re-evaluate our relationship while we prioritize our children. We appreciate your love and support while we continue to do the work necessary throughout this journey. With love, Dorit and PK. Oh, that is so beautifully written. Putting the children first and all, love that. But fans have been speculating for years about their marriage, including that one time Erica Jane predicted that the pair would be the next bravo couple to break up. And this was back in 2022. So that's one, two. That's almost two years ago already. Also, so rude from Erica. Cameras will begin rolling soon for the Real Houses of Beverly Hills, and the Kemsleys are expected to put it all on the table. And for those who are saying Dorit does this every single time when it's time for contract renewal, a bit harsh, don't you think? Clap back in the comments, like and share this video and remember to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for stopping by and watching until the end. Until next time, bye.